When Granny Saved Christmas. Yippee! It's nearly Christmas, sang Bubble, and we're going to Granny's, added Squeak, as he helped Mummy pack his snowflake pyjamas. Hurry up then, smiled Mummy. It's a long drive. I wish we could fly to Granny's, sighed Bubble, like Santa in a sleigh. Oh no, Bubble, Squeak cried. How will Santa know we're at Granny's? He might come here. Easy peasy, said Bubble. We'll tell him. We'll tell him. We'll scoot to Lapland, pogo over the penguins, and hitch a polar bear wide to the North Pole. Wow! Have we got time for all that, said Mum. How about writing Santa a letter? Clever Mummy, said Squeak. As they got to work, let's make it really big so Santa sees it, agreed Bubble. With snowy sparkles and glittery glue, they made the most magnificent letter ever. I wrote Santa's address huge to make sure it gets there, Bubble told Squeak as Daddy helped them post the letter. But just as it plopped through the slot, Squeak cried, Bubble! We forgot to tell Santa Granny's address. How will he know where to go? I know, said Bubble, we'll make a bazillion carroty cookies and leave a trail for Rudolph to follow. Sounds yummy, said Daddy, as we went home, but Granny's waiting to see us. Could we just leave Santa a map? Clever Daddy, said Squeak. Together they helped. Daddy drew a map and pin it to the door. Then they helped Mummy pack the car. Hooray! We're off to Granny's, everyone cheered as they squashed the boot shut. On the way, they counted Christmas trees. I've seen two, six, twenty, yelled Bubble. I've seen eighty numpty nine squeaked squeak cried squeak. That's not a number, Bubble giggled. It is, it is, isn't it, Daddy? shouted Squeak. Are we nearly there yet? sighed Daddy. At last they saw Granny's house, sparkling in snow. Granny! yelled a bubble and squeak, jumping into a big granny hug. My favourite little mice, she beamed. Then Bubble suddenly stopped. Oh no, he gasped, staring at Granny's roof. Granny, where's your chimney? cried Bubble. There isn't one, squeak, squeak. How will Santa get in? They both wailed. Don't worry, smiled Granny. I've been very busy while I was waiting for you. Bubble and Squeak followed Granny 
into her garden. Wow, she gasped. It's my super swissy Santa slide, said Granny. Clever Granny, said Squeak. Santa's sure to find us now, cried Bubble. The little mice swooped and swished down Santa's slide until the stars began to twinkle and Granny called Cocoa time! After Cocoa and kisses, they wriggled into their pyjamas and Granny read them a bedtime story. Thanks for making sure Santa finds us bubble, yawned Squeak, as the pair snuggled down to sleep. I hope he brings you a lovely present, and guess what? He, Santa, did. The end. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe.